wapendo habari za uh, masaa haya hello nzuri habari ya kwako uh, salama kabisa nimefurahi kuwaona uh, naona tupo tayari watu saba hapa uh, nadhani inatosha kuanza uh, wengine watatu join uh, baadaye inawezekana tuko saba lakini kila mmoja ana ana wengine wawili watatu wanaosikiliza direct kama mimi hapa kwaenda tukawa tayari tuko wengi ila hatuwezi kuona tu kwa sababu ya ya namba ya device tunazotumia basi nipende kuwakaribisha katika mfululizo wetu wa kipindi cha nguvu ya maarifa na katika season hii tunazungumzia sana masuala ya afya na leo tunajikita zaidi katika swala la lifestyle and stress management na tunamtumishi wa Mungu Dr. Mwambo ambaye atakuwa mwezeshaji wa mada yetu ya leo. Uh, mimi kama mwenyekiti uh, ninaitwa Dr. Daniel Magomere lakini leo si siko peke yangu. Nina chea na mke wangu uh, Juliet Po ambaye atatupatia ombi la ufunguzi. Uh, kwa hiyo ni mkaribishe mke wangu Juliet, Madam Juliet kwa ombi la ufunguzi alafu then tutaingia moja kwa moja kwa kwa kipindi karibu Pombe Asante kwa wengi wa rema na kadhili zako Asante kwa kutupa nafasi tena ya kuweza kukutana leo kwa ajili ya kupata maarifa tunakusihi ukaongee nasi tusaidie tukapate kuyafanyia kazi katika maisha yetu ni katika jina la Yesu amen Basi uh, Dr. Mwambo ni kukaribishe kwa ajili ya kuendelea na mada yetu ya leo. Okay, asante habari za jioni. Leo tutazungumza juu ya mambo ambayo yanatupata kila siku ambayo ukimuuliza mtu anasema hamna shida lakini ana shida. Mtu anaomba kazi akija kwako kwa kwa leo hamna hatuna ka, kazi leo asante hamna shida mtu. Lakini ana shida. So it seems that tuna matatizo sana ya we are to manage ourselves or to manage stress in our, in our lives na katika life hii ambayo tunakwenda kwa kwa speed sana ya teknolojia kuna vitu vingi ambavyo vinatupa stress na wakati mwingine labda tunaweza tusijue kwamba kuna stress lakini ni vizuri kwamba tuka, tukajua tuko katika hatua gani ili, we, ili kama kuna kitu cha kufanya tuweze kufanya kwa hiyo um, labda tunaweza kwanza kuta kaenisha stress ni nini aina za stress sababu za kuwa za kuwa na stress uh, dalili your symptoms and signs alafu jinsi ya kukabili alafu kitimisho uh, fika hapo labda tutakuwa tumejua gani tume tume kili na tuweza kutupata ni vizuri kujua una tatizo ulisolve kuliko ukadhamu ukao kwa kwenye giza Uh, tukiona katika definition labda ni ni tumie kiingereza na ndio wiki tunafahamu ziko definition nyingi sana juu ya stress uh, ukienda ukienda google and find the uh, definition ya stress unaweza kupata zaidi ya mia. lakini labda nitumie mbili au tatu stress is the body's reaction to change that requires a physical mental and emotional adjustment or response that's one of them ingine stress is a defined as an organism's total response to environmental demands or pressures let me just use those two uh kwa hiyo sisi wakati wote tuko tuko tuna tuna vitu vinatuzunguka tuna mazingira yanatuzunguka tuna watu wanatuzunguka kwa hiyo hivyo vinatuletea a stress ziko stress aina mbili eh uh, ziko positive stress positive stress ni zile ambazo zinatufanya sisi tuweze kutaka kuchangi, kufika katika goal flani kwa sababu kama tusikokuwa na stress yoyote tumekuwa tunakaa tu lakini ukiwa na na kitu kinaitwa you stress is a positive stress ambayo inakufanya wewe uweze kupambana katika maisha ya, yako ili inakumotivate wewe kufanya 
kitu fulani ili uweze kuendelea lakini tana na ambayo ni, ni negative it is called a distress distress ni ile ile stress inakufikisha kwenye level ambayo wewe is too high or too low kwa body kuanza ku react kwa hiyo ukiona distress unaweza kukuta mtu amekaa tu analalamika tu lakini is not doing anything uh, kwa hiyo with those two uh, tunataka tujue kwamba ni aina aina gani za za stress kama nilivyosema kuna positive na negative stress alafu kuna acute kuna stress ambazo zinakuja kwa ghafla kwa sababu ya kitu kile labda ni msiba na ni alafu kuna chronic ambayo ni muda mrefu unaweza kuwa huko kadini unaweza kuwa huko kanisani unaweza kuwa huko nyumbani kuna kitu kinaku kinaku kinakupa msongo kila wakati kuna wengine wakisema hivi narudi nyumbani kufanya nini maana pale iko shida eh, hiyo inaweza kuwa ni, ni, ni swala la kudumu muda muda mrefu ni chronic stress sasa kama ukishakuwa na hizo definition yes zinasababishwa na nini kuna external stress na internal stress external stress ni zile zinazo zinazosababishwa na mazingira internal stress zinatoka within ourselves okay kwa hiyo kuna kuna sababu za nje ya mwili na sababu ya sababu ambazo ziko ndani ya mwili uh, misongo nje ya mwili kuna misongo mingi sana ambayo inaweza kutufanya sisi tukaweza kupata stress kwa mfano uh, there's a very small stress ukiambia ukiambia uhamishe kitanda chako tu from one place to another is enough stress ukihama nyumba is, is a big bigger stress ukifiwa uke, kwa wa, ukipata talaka ukiwa na matatizo ya kifedha uh, ukiwa na me, malengo mengi kule tulipo kazini unaambia leo ete deadline kwa nini hujafikisha uh, usipofikisha utafanya nini kuna malumbano wakati mwingine tunafika mahali ambapo yanatupa stress Uh, the very common uh, malumbano ambayo yoko Tanzania kuna simba na yanga. Eh uh, ukifika watu wanazungumza juu ya, ya mipira tadhani the world is falling. Lakini there are so many people ambao wanashindwa wanakuwa so much stress simu, simu, simu zao zikifungwa. Kuna matatizo ya kifamilia. Kuna mengine yanakuja wakati una unakosa usingizi kwa sababu moja au nyingine. Uh, kuna mambo ya kila siku kwa wale ambao wanaishi Dar es Salaam na miji mikubwa kuna long eh, queues kila siku sasa hivi nikitoka hapa unaweza kutoka ofisini ukadhani na kura dakika 15 ukatembea kwa 2 hours ukawa na, na kule kazini ukawa na shida ukiwa na gari una gari moja tu alafu inaharibika au unakuta kesho asubuhi limeibiwa vitu vyote You, be, you get a big stress uh, household calls kutunza watoto yote viko katika uh, stress lakini vinatoka outside the body uh, kuna misogo mingine mazingira ukisikia watu Dar es Salaam sasa hivi kuna kitu tuna yani kuna jasho si kawaida uh, ukitoka bafuni unataka kwenda kuvaa tayari umeshaloa as you vai out metaulo au fanyeni so it's the weather there's pollution uh, there's physical stresses like injuries traveling na toka kuna watu na travel leo anaondoka hapa anakwenda hapa akirudi nyumbani ana safari nyingine pamoja na kwamba watu wanafikiria kwamba mtu ki travel is a, ni, ni, ni starehe unapata fedha nyingi lakini there's so much uh, stress in traveling uh, physical needs uh, hunger kuna nguo za kutosha unaambia twende kwenye kwenye party fulani unafikiria hivi mimi nitakwendaje nguo ipi nitavaa you see uh, uh, one of the, the, the stressors ambazo sasa na, na, naomba ni zungumze kwa urefu kidogo simu za mkononi mengine yote labda tunaweza kukwepa lakini simu za mkononi kwa sasa hivi zimekuwa stress kubwa sana kwa watu. Na inaweza kutupa physical stress, psychological stress, 
family stress, work stress, vitu uh, vingi kama hivyo. Ningekuwa tungekuwa na, na present uh, kwenye darasa ningeuliza ni wangapi hawaandiki messages kwenye simu. Uh, na katika physical stress how much your phone unapoandika message unaposoma message menamisha kichwa hivi kwenye umekaa kwenye bench unasubiria hospitali au unasuhuko mahali unasubiria basi lije unasoma simu unaangalika how, how many of us don't do that i think nikiambia don't do it naweza nikakosa mkono nikakosa mkono hata mmoja lakini what does it what does it mean when you have your phone uh, in front of your straight umeinama kidogo umeinamisha kabisa hivi scientifically uh, this give us stress kwa your spine especially the cervical bones alafu na na kuna na na ligaments zilizopo kama umeshika simu in front of you ambayo wengi hatishi Uh, stress ambayo inawekwa kwenye spine ni kama umeweka kilo tano za mzigo kwenye shingo unapoinamisha shingo as you go kio umekwenda about 15 degrees unakuwa umeweka kama kilo kumi ukienda ukiinamisha 30 degrees wakati tunasubiri kwenye vituo au tunasubiri kutibiwa hospitali au tunasubiri kutibiwa kwenye osi, kwenye ofisi ofisi za umma kwa matatizo tofauti if you go for 30 degrees it is about 20 yani kama vile umebeba ndoo ndoo ya maji ya kilo 20 umeitundika shingoni and it is responding to your neck let's ukienda degree 60 ni kama umebeba beba eh, kilo 30 on your neck so what happens watu wengi wanakuwa na back strains shingo na umwa shingo shingo linakakama kumbe ni kwa sababu ya simu ambazo tunatumia watu wengi. Ah, uh, mengine ambayo ambayo yanatupata ukitumia simu, uh, tendons nyingi ambazo there, there are some people ukiona anapiga simu, yani utadhani anapiga kinanda. That one ina matatizo sana kwa tendons za mkono. Kuna stress. A lot of people who have, who have stress inaweza kuwa kwa sababu kwa mfano wale ambao wana date kwa nini wewe hujapigiwa simu tangu asubuhi kwa nini huyu hajajibu message yangu mpaka sasa kwa nini huyu hajajiani tangu jana hajafanya hivyo you so you will become anxious unapata anxiety uh, sleep loss eh, wengi wetu tunaweka simu karibu na vitana vyetu ili ikilia usi 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 usije ukakosa simu well all the time your, your brain iko tuned kwamba niweke kwamba nikisikia niki niweze kuipokea hata ikiwa usiku. Uh, accidents zinakuwa cause na watu tunawatumia simu. Kwa sababu wengine tunadhani we too smart can send a message uh, haraka alafu urudi kwenye on driving. But ile 2 3 4 seconds out of the, of the road you might be somewhere else. Uh, risk cancer Uh, it is it is said kuna kitu kinaitwa acoustic acoustic neuroma kwa wale ambao wanafanya kazi na wanatumia na nani zao simu zao wanaiweka sikioni kuna watu they work for 10 hours they do their business at home hii peleka huku hii why did you do this hii peleka but huko nyumbani and paka simu inapata moto okay there is cyber bullying watu wanaweza kuingia kwa simu akachukua namba namba yako ya simu somewhere au akaingia kwenye kwenye Facebook akaona picha yako akaichukua ile picha akatafuta namba yako au akaanza kutumia message za ajabu kutoka kwenye hiyo kwa well, there is a cyber bullying ambayo inatokea kwa watoto na watu wazima false prestige oh that is another one wewe well, unatumia simu gani acha mimi natumia Samsung na kuna ile nyingine si Infinix <laughs> mpaka leo unatumia Infinix sasa hizi tu kwa kwenye uh, iPhone si series si series gap I don't know the series mtu asiye na hizo series 
katika vijana anaonekana yuko out. Kwa hiyo wengine wana struggle ili kupata ile unatumia nini iPhone. Usipokuwa na iPhone you are out of the of the cycle. Kwa hiyo kuna vitu kama hivyo obesity kuna wengine wanaweza kukaa for very long time working on the phone without a movement so they go obese. Vision problems ni nyingi sana kwenye Well, this is one of the things sambazo zinatupa stress wakati mwingine tunasema how did we ever live with live without them lakini actually they have brought us disasters in our in our health uh, in, in one of the external stressors internal stressors internal stressors unaweza kupata stress kwa sababu ya imani yako nategemea uko wapi unaweza kuwa ume, ume unafanya kazi lakini kule kazini hakuruhusu kwenda sabato how do you how do you fight that is a stressor uh, malengo yako mwenyewe unasema mimi uh, naambia siku hizi vijana wasipokuwa na gari inaitwa subaru uweze kutembea barabarani itakuwa unaonekana mtu wa ajabu kuna self image unajisikia wewe uwe namna gani na huku unafika kumbe hujafika kile kitu unachotaka mbona mwenzangu kanizidi kuliko hivi kuna culture mila na desturi huyu mtu ni nani huyu hivi kabila langu hivi wanaweza kufanya hivi kwa hiyo unapata a lot of problems kwa sababu kuna kitu ambacho kiko ndani yani ni, ni, ni it's you na ukiitwa wewe mpare huwezi kukwepa kwa pale mpare ukikuambia si mwaya huwezi kukwepa kwa pale mwaya so if anybody is attacking you on uh, on on that then you are in trouble if he is attacking you on faith also it will cause stress expectations ikifika mwisho wa mwaka mimi nataka niwe na niweze lazima kuwa na nyumba nafika mwisho wa mwaka hata kiwanja una uh unaanza kujilaumu am i am i the only lousy fellow in the world so that is internal kwa sababu wewe ndio una 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 it is internal in yourself and you are trying to 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 get where you want to get to once you know that we have those problems what are the symptoms and signs of uh, uh stress how do you use them so uh if it is something about mekuja ghafla uh, wengi wanasema Kiswahili wanasema paka mate amenikauka because there's something that has come so fast that you kutegemea uh, kama ndio siku nyingi nyingi unakuta wengine wamechoka mtu anasikia mimi nachoka yani hata siku kuna mka asubuhi umechoka zile ambazo ukifika mahali go to, to, to uh, an interview au pale mahali ambapo unaona sasa kazi inakosekana au vipi unakuta unatoka jasho kwenye you, you, you can name it lakini kwenye kwenye viganja jasho linatoka ambalo is not usually is not usual wengine wanaanza kuumwa vichwa wengine wanapata kichefuchefu uh, uh, i usually ask people hivi uh, hivi unasema mimi unajua sina stress lakini unajua asubuhi mimi siwezi nikiamka uh, asubuhi siwezi kuku kunywa chai vizuri kwa sababu ah niko tu lakini just imagine kesho unaambia kuna unakwenda mahakamani eh, na kuna kuna kesi yako hukumu inatolewa kesho uh, utakula keki ngapi nyumbani asubuhi na chai na supu nasema mimi nakwenda mahakamani <laughs> you might vomit before if you even you do even uh, uh, you even eat your breakfast that you are used to Uh, kuna sleep disturbances mtu unaamka usiku au uh, unapata you, you don't you don't go sleep moja kwa moja unaweza kuamka usiku unasikia kama una wengine unakimbizwa nafisi mara umetumbukia kifuo kikisimani mara unaanguka kwa gorofa mara umeshafukuzwa kazi so there are so many things and your your uh, sleep is disturbed uh, there's a sharp dryness of mouth in the Amazonian. Ah, sasa hiyo ni what you can see. 
ini wao lakini ukienda sasa dalili tu unaweza kujua na si na stress una, unajuaje kwamba huyu mtu ana stress mtu anakuja kazini you are used to somebody who is very jolly afla unakuta mtu yuko very quiet na ukimuuliza mwana leo una shida gani kabai kuhusu kwani wewe una unasaidia nini so, so, siku zote tunazungumza vizuri so ugo ndio umeanza lini kwa wale ambao wana, wanavuta they smoke they increase smoking Uh, wengine ukishakuwa na stress kama ni nyumbani people become careless unaweza kukuta mtu anaangusha vikombe tu anaangusha vijiko hiyo so and that one inaapea mara nyingi kwa kwa watu nyumbani wakati wale wale house girls na watu ukiangusha kikombe unakatwa unakatwa mshahara ukiangusha kijiko vijiko vinahesabiwa so everybody sasa yule anakuwa na stress mpaka wakati mwingine unakuta sasa anaangusha na chakula kabisa na sahani because amesha ameshaogopa kabisa kati maisha ya pale haya haya amsaidi uh, kuna wengine uh, wanasema if everything if if everything else fails you eat that wengine wanaacha kula wengine especially wakina mama ambao wanakaa nyumbani the stress is uh, the life it becomes wana, anaanza kula 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 anza kuwa mnene anasema uh, okay it doesn't matter you just eat and eat uh, unakuta wanakuwa over, over, overweight kwa sababu ya kula and then what makes them wanaanza kuwa depressed tena kwamba nimeshakuwa mnene uh, wanakuwa wengine wana, wana, wana withdraw people ambao walikuwa wana chat na watu mara nyingi they withdraw from from the community una marafiki zako wakikupigia simu upokee just because you, you huwezi kujua kwamba unasema hivi nikimpigia ataniambia nini na mimi niko katika hali duni kama hii wengine barabarani unakuta wanapata ajali mara nyingi because una stress think of something else you don't even see the road Um, wengine wakiwa very distress wanacheka wana vile vicheko vya <laughs> what's, what's funny here lakini wazako anafurahi kwa yani sio anafurahi ni kwamba he is just trying to to ana ana try to vent lakini in the wrong way so these people become irritable they are now going to angry burst wanakuwa anxious Uh, so they they uh they they play a lot of uh, problems kwa sababu hawana kitu cha kufanya cha kufanya okay they wanakuwa na reduced esteem huoni mtu akifurahia they are depressed mtu akiwa na na shughuli yote they are jealous kwa nini mwenzako ana gari mwenzangu mwenzangu amevaa nguo nzuri kwa nini kwa nini So instead of being positive wanakuwa negative na kila kitu. Okay, that one is uh, basically how somebody is. Lakini ukienda in a bigger in a, in a bigger setting especially kama kuna sehemu za kazi. Sehemu za kazi unakuta kwamba kuna watu wengi wanaweza kuwa anaomba kwenda hospitali just because they are stressed. If something else comes na umwa mgongo na umwa shingo ah uh, unajua leo mimi nimepata hoba sana usiku uh, so every time they look for for some excuses if you have if you are a production pro, producing producing entity and you have a lot of people going to hospital you have a people about wako 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 stressed what happens you you decrease your productivity these people you have they have poor judgment customer service forget if your internal customers are not uh, are not uh, happy expect the same for external customers ambao akija pale anamuona kwamba ana 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 anasumbua you will have a high personnel turnover it is it is like you wonder because these people they are not hawapo unafika mahali unaona you are not producing una deadlines imekwisha unamuondoa wanakuja wengine wanakuwa frustrated again they leave wanakuwa na low morale 
and uh, kazini tena if you have a driver who is stressed expect some accidents at of city expect some accidents because people are not very comfortable yeah they have psychological and physiological effects uh he interpret here economically it will give you a lot of loss in your company kama ungechukua zile work hours ambazo wafanyakazi wanakwenda kupumzika wanaumwa is it only for us if you go to your bible your bible says 216 times there's a word afraid so once you are afraid you are stressed 216 times in the bible afraid is mentioned and then there's a consolation do not be afraid do not be afraid he said in 50 verses in the bible there are others not only afraid they're exceedingly afraid he said four times the other one <laughs> they're so much afraid that they are trembling he said 28 times in the bible now Knowing all that, how do we cope with stress? There are only two rules. Don't sweat the small stuff. The second one, it is all small stuff. Because if you cannot, if you cannot change anything, you have to, the two, two ways. If you can change something, do your best to change it. If you cannot, you have tried your level best, you cannot. You are, you, are, you are actually pushing a wall. Then leave it and let it solve. There's no need of worrying because you cannot do anything about it. But if you go to Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 to 34, I think that verse, verse is very common. Monsieur, now as you ask, you are Chakula, and then it goes out, the Fika Musho, verse 34. Basi msiyo na wasiwasi juu ya kesho. Kesho inayo yake. Matatizo ya siku moja ya naotosheni kwa siku hiyo. So, it doesn't mean that we sleep. But you cannot solve. Uwezi kusolve matatizo ya wanasema. Don't take uh, the burden of yesterday. Add of that tomorrow or tomorrow and carry today. Zita kufunja shini. So it's better you deal with what you can do today. Okay, that is uh, the, the, the biblical side, but what do we do? What other things can we do with ourselves? Uh, we have to change our, 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 our outlook, thinking. How do you think? There are things that come and leave your same akunabitu ambavyo naweza kuhibadilisha. Kwa hiyo inabidi uwe na fikira ambazo zinaweza kukupa hivi hivi vitu viwili. Ni kitu gani naweza kubadilisha so that naweza kufanya kwa bidii sana na kitu gani siwezi kubadilisha that I can let go. Kuna behavior, kuna wakati mwingine tunaingia kwenye behavior za watu unataka ku mimi niwe na kama plan. You don't know safari ya yule ni nini. Kila mmoja ana safari yake hapa duniani. Uh, change your lifestyle. Lifestyle wakati mwingine sisi tunakwenda kwa kutegemea kwamba mwenzangu amefanya nini. Mwenzangu amefanya nini. It's good to compare. But it is not say I must be like somebody. Uh, there's a Chinese saying that the day you know your shoes are good is when you find somebody is more fit to put them on. Kwa hiyo unapojiona we ulipo kwanza angalia ulionao pili angalia walioko juu lakini angalia Mungu amenibariki kiasi gani kuliko hao wengine walioko that will give you a, a thinking ambayo itakupeleka to uh, to to success uh, watu wengi wengine tunakaa unafikiria negatively haya maisha yangu ni shida Every day I have a problem here. I don't know how much my share. So all the time you think negative. Eliminate negative thinking. 
uh, try to put positive thinking. Unaweka each enjoy each time. Watu wengine wanasema kwani nikitaka kufika nitaka kufika nitaka kufika nitaka kufika does not arrive. Hiyo itakuwa na raha. Unazaliwa nikimaliza darasa la 4 nitafurahi. Na mwanzo la 4 unakuta kuna la 7 na secondary unakwenda 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 ukifika unasema nitakapoa nikiwa na familia that is when i'll be happy kwa na familia unaanza matatizo watoto wanakuwa unapeleka shule time of being happy is now don't wait um kuna change change of thinking focus on your strength what can you do best capitalize on that um uh, learn learn what stress you have and that you can take away look at the opportunities are we looking at opportunities or wait for them to come wakati wewe tuna tunaziacha tu opportunities na pita kuna mwanzangu ame kuna mwanzangu kumbe kuna opportunities ambazo zimetuacha kwa muda mrefu sana na zimepita tujue tujepo fanya mabadiliko think of positive changes and not the negative changes uh, as i said where you can do something about the change of outcome in this case don't sit there and worry about it go ahead and take care of it take control and change but wengi tuna kitu kinaitwa ile kuahirisha tutafanya kesho mbona naweza mbona naweza mbona naweza hii pro that's that where is difficult procrastination ndio matatizo ya watu wengi tunaahirisha vitu ambavyo tunaweza kufanya leo unachoweza kufanya leo ifanye leo ile vitu ambavyo huwezi kubadilisha forget about them don't worry about them because you cannot change them ah uh, wanasema kwamba unamuomba Mungu akusaidie kukupa busara ya kujua hivi vitu viwili kitu gani naweza kufanya ikifanye kwa nguvu zote kitu gani ambacho siwezi kufanya niache niendelee na maisha na kitu kingine ah uwe uwe positive siwe kuna watu wengine kwa sababu kuna shida na baki tu ana mpaka watu wana wanakanyaga your rights wewe ume ah jamani sitio kazini sana nitafanya wamesema they your rights kuna rights zako ambazo lazima uwe na fight for na fight for your rights ukijua the right way of fighting for your rights ukiwa assertive tu watu watakukanyaga 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 mpaka unasema hii hii dunia nimetengenezewa mimi mwenyewe kukanyaga panga mambo yako a lot of us have that weakness we don't keep diaries uh labda ninge kwa pamoja kaweka mikono nikauliza uh, ni nani hapa kesho anakwenda ameandika anakwenda kufanya nini kesho and, and what is the priority unaweza kuta over 50% if not more tunakwenda kazini kwa sababu tunajua kuna kazi bas ukifika kazini nakuta hiyo kazi ndioko e unaendelea na maisha but you don't have uh, don't have plans you don't have have time table ya kumaliza badilisha tabia kuna vitu ambavyo vinatakiwa kuna ku, ku, ku brief eh yeah? to brief to give it to so ku have ku, 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 kwa sababu tu unapumua unapumua with ventilating your lungs and you take it as as a part of exercise every day that's a simple exercise ambayo haitaji kufuta chote una you 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 count one two you breathe in you hold breathe out if you do that paka unafika saba every day unakuta muda unaongezeka eh uh, kama una tv bahati mbaya watu na wakati mwingine vipindi vyetu vya kuchekesha ni they don't add value to our to, to our to our brain lakini find something which is enjoyable kuna miziki miziki ambayo inafurahisha eh, ambayo they cool they cool your mind kuna miziki ambayo ni bang 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 don't those don't, don't help you 
they add, add, add stress. Get the time to laugh with people. If you are a lot alone at home, find somebody, make a call for somebody who can know that we exchange. Okay, okay, stress, sana, divert yourself from that. Kutana na mtu mnagombana, unawandoka, unambe, unapabasi. Okay, okay. Okay, you win for this time. Lakini unangalia kwa pa siya kaendele alapo ka step on your, on your rights. Okay? Uh, go out and breathe. Stress. Some of them we don't know. Especially what unafana kazi kwa computer. You sit on a computer for one hour. It's not scientific. Go out to Egometric. Ukienda kwa Egometric, sita kuambia kwa mba after a few minutes, plasma utembe urudi tena. Lakini wengine tunajua kazi ni unajua kazi tunaijua sana umejikuja for one hour huinuki that one is not good for you uh it gives you stress let alone giving you other diseases diet what diet are you eating uh <laughs> ukienda chakula mchana ukala ugali how do you expect that utakwenda kazini ufanye efficiently we need to 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 know what to eat when to eat and uh, that one is, is good for, for, for our health. Uh, exercises, I think that's it. Exercises it cannot be overemphasized. Remember, every day, if you have a quarter 15 minutes a day, so much the better. Uh, if you do a physical walking, it includes that most of the muscles and the heart is working very well. Uh, you can have a change of lifestyle. Water is, is very essential to your circulation, to your body, to cleaning your body. And especially if you ever find your urine is yellow, you don't have enough water in your body, period. It means that there's something about you. You don't clean your body properly. Um, breathing, uh, life, breathing uh, exercises, very essential. Music, what type of music are you listening to? Soothing music, how music is it? Uh, you need to, to, to know what. Okay. Sleep. How long do we sleep? When I say mimi ni ah mimi kilala saa tatu tu mimi mambo yangu mazuri. That one sleeping for 6 paka 8 hours inapunguza a lot of stress. Ah, uh, you know you tunakaa one third of our life sleeping lakini wengine we don't get that opportunity. How what is our strength? Our rock and our strength is God, prayer. Depend on God. Pray to God. Uh, in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, Johnny Kwangu, Nini Nyote, Sumbukao, Nakulemeo, Namizigo, Nami, Nakumbika. When are you starting to exercise? When are you starting to change your lifestyle? It is now. Thank you very much for listening. I hope uh, this one, when we get to all this, will what do we really get? You know, the part of productivity, performance, to start. Get the kakazini, una economic, na psychological benefits. Kwa wale ambao wana kampuni, kama wa kama huta stress, wafanya kazi wako, attendance yako itaogezeka watakuwa motivated, watakuwa committed, na watakaa kwenye kiwanda chako mpaka wanajua kwa badicha kwao. Watu ambao wana hawana hiyo, kitu kikiaribika, tiyari wanapeleka ma, kwa sababu, kwa fano ukiwa na gari. Gari nikipata ajali, what do you do? You must take it to, lazima watu wa insurance wagi. Lazima ipele kwe polisi, ili wanani, they are legal things. Ukiwa na, na daktari au nesi mzembe, you know what can happen. So you get a lot of legal things 
kwa sababu ya watu ambao hawako committed katika kazi zao. Ah, uh, nashukuru kwa kwa kunisikiliza. I hope we'll be having some I don't know whether we have time for questions or we end up here. Thank you very much for listening. You are all welcome. Thank you for the wonderful presentation. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Asante sana. You're welcome. Shukran sana daktari. Okay. Yes, doctor, Nina Swali. Okay. Na kwanza ni kushukuru sana kwa kwa program hii nzuri. Yes. Na natamani uh, dunia na hasa mji huu wa Dar es Salaam ungesikiliza na watu wangepona kwa sababu nao watu wanaenda kwenye 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 mental diseases ni kwa sababu mtu anashindwa ku control uh, stress ni kwamba kumbe kuna vitu ambavyo vingine unaviruhusu ambavyo viko nje ya uwezo wako na wala usi usivipe space kwenye brain yako kwa sababu uh, space ikijaa it means mambo mengine yanakaa vibaya swali langu ni kwamba we are adventists so ukizungumzia swala la mziki kwamba kuna mziki ambao si wa kimungu sio kwaya sometimes ninaweza nikasikiliza kwaya lakini nikajikuta nikasikiliza aina fulani ya mziki ambao haumtukuzi mungu lakini una ujumbe mzuri ambao i feel good so is it advisable to listen kwamba just for my treatment niko stressed lakini nikasikiliza ule wimbo i feel good so ni vizuri nikausikiliza okay uh... Let me let, let me venture to answer you. Let me let me venture to answer you. Mm. Uh, muziki, muziki, as muziki. Hata bila maneno, it is good enough, depending on what type of music. Ukisikiliza sitaki kusema ni dini gani. Lakini ukiingia kwenye Mimi sometimes nasikiliza hizi dini zingine. Ukiangalia unasema is this really the church? Okay. Um it is, is this really the church? Yaani muziki unaopigwa kanisani eh ule mdundo. Ule mdundo wenyewe ni mdundo ambao it takes you out of hata hayo unaosema unasikia wala usiki because a lot of them ambazo zinasemwa zina a few phrases na muziki unaimbwa kama dakika 15 sasa ukiangalia ule mdundo just close your eyes and listen and, and, and usisikilize usisikilize maneno sikiliza tu ule mdundo Ye yeah, unakupa peace. <laughs> okay. Bende <Bidi> leo. <laughs> yeah. Ye hey, ule mdundo unakupa peace. Kama mdundo wenyewe forget about the words. Unakupa peace. Then you okay. Lakini <laughs> okay. kama unaona mdundo unaku unaku unakuhamasisha. Unataka kuruka then there's a problem. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Ya, nilikuwa natamani kuchangia kwenye hilo swala la muziki kwa sababu mimi pia ni mdau wa muziki. Yes, correct. unajua nimejaribu kuchunguza sana muziki. Nikaona una correlate na 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 uwepo wetu, yani ina correlate na uumbaji. Uh, kwenye mziki kuna ki 12 alafu katika kila scale tunayotumia kuimba kuna noti saba za msingi na hizo noti saba za msingi unaweza ukazitengenezea four part harmony tukapata sauti nne 
Sasa nika hizo sauti nne katika kila skeli unaweza ukaziimba katika kila kiki mbili. Kama ambavyo unaona tuna miezi mbili lakini tuna siku saba kwa wiki na kila mwezi una wiki nne. Kwa hiyo unaona hata hizo namba zina zina, zina correlate na, na creation kwamba Mungu aliumba kwa siku saba, akatengeneza majira mwaka. Sasa nilivochunguza zaidi nikakuta kumbe element nyingine za mziki pia zina resonate na uwepo wetu. Hapa ningekuwa nimeunga kwa laptop ningeweza kushare haka ka article. Ah uh, hii ilikuwa inazungumzia rhythm ya mziki kwamba mziki unaosikiliza tafiti zilifanyika zikasema kwamba mapigo yako ya moyo ukisha sikiliza mziki fulani kwa dakika kadhaa mapigo yako ya moyo yanabadilika kuendana na muziki ule unaosikiliza yani kuna namna fulani automatically una regulate ile pacemaker ya mwili ya moyo inayoratibu mapigo ya, mwili, ya, 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 ya mapigo ya moyo sasa sisi wenyewe tunajua kwa umepumzika au umelala mapigo ya moyo huwa yanashuka sana tunaita unakuwa kwenye bazo metabolic rate kwa unakuta mapigo ya moyo yanakuwa chini sana au uh, wanakadiria uh, wataalamu wao wanatumia jina lao bradycardia lakini unapokuwa umelala ni hali ya kawaida kwa sababu haufanyi kazi mwili una relax na mapigo haya huwa yanakadiriwa kuwa huwa uh, yanakadiriwa kuwa 40 Uh, mpaka mpaka tano uh, ina, ina, inakuwa ni kama nomo tu lakini mtu anapokuwa katika hali ya kawaida ndio hiyo unasikia mapigo uh, stini, sabini hata hata mpaka themanini sio mbaya lakini mtu ukiwa kwenye activity yale mapigo tena yanafanya nini yale mapigo yanaongezeka yanaenda mpaka mia na sasa muziki pia umegawanyika katika sehemu mbili kuna mziki ambao ni wa taratibu slow huu wataalamu wanauweka kuna ambao unaitwa lago mini 40 beats per minute mpaka 65 kuna mwingine unaoita adagio 66 up to 75 beats per minute Haku mwingine unaitwa adante ambao ni 76 to 107 uh, beats per minute sasa hizi zina correlate na hali ya kawaida ya mtu anapokuwa katika rest. Lakini kuna mziki ambao uko faster kidogo, moderato, 108 mpaka 119. Ndio maana unaona wanajeshi wanapokuwa wanapiga parade, uh, mwendo wa haraka unakuwa una nani yake tofauti na ile inaendana pia na kile wanachokifanya. Lakini kuna mziki ambao unakuwa haraka sana kuliko mapigo ya moyo ya kawaida ambao unaitwa presto, inaenda mpaka 200 beats per minute. Sasa unaposikiliza huu mziki wewe bila una, weni una, wewe huna control na moyo wako kwa sababu mapigo ya moyo hatukontrol sisi ni, ni kitu ambacho ni subconscious. Kwa hiyo unaposikiliza mziki ambao ni very fast ni ukweli ni kwamba moyo wako unaathirika automatically. Sasa labda kama unasikiliza mziki wakati unafanya jogging unakimbia au unalima tuweza tukasema mapigo ya moyo yanaendana na kazi yako kwa sababu unahitaji msukumo mwingi zaidi wa damu. Kwa nadhani kuna haja ya kumeja pia activity lakini na kuangalia pia hali. Mtu unapokuwa umelala au kwenye sherehe tunapokula, wanaikaga mziki slow kwa sababu ni wakati ambao unahitaji utulivu. Sasa kuhusiana na choice uh, ya mziki gani tusikilize? Kwenye swala la lyrics mimi sidhani kwamba ni wasabato tu, yani usikilize nyimbo za wasabato tu. Kuna nyimbo nyingi tu ambazo zina maadili mazuri na nyingine zinamtaja Mungu vizuri ambazo sio za kwetu. Uh, kwa sababu Biblia inasema every good gift comes from God. Na si, sio kwamba good gift wamepewa wa Sabato tu. Unaweza ukakuta mziki ni mzuri lakini ni wa warokole. It's a good gift. It comes from God. Kwa nini nisisikilize? Ninasikiliza. Kwa sasa athari unaweza kuipata uh, kwa, 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 kwa message Nadhani nisifananishe na aina ya muziki katika ile structure yake lakini kikubwa uh, kikubwa ninachoweza kusema ni kwamba uh, ukihusianisha na stress na namna stress inavyoathiri mwili ile zile sympathetic system na parasympathetic system inahusika zaidi na namna mapigo ya mwili yanavyo maana ni response uh, ya mwili kwenye mazingira kwa hiyo mziki ambao unaathiri mapigo ya mwili kulingana na mazingira na hali yako nadhani hiyo ndiyo inaweza ikawa ina kwenye stress
uh, uh, siju kama nimegusa naona nimeeleza mambo mengi sana lakini nilikuwa natamani tu kuchangia hapo kwenye swala la muziki nashukuru yeah. okay uh, doctor ume, ume, umechangia vizuri sana uh, kwa sababu barikiwa katika... Hello. Ndio ndio tunakupata do. Ya yeah, katika katika nchi zilizoendelea na watu wanaojua unakuta ofisini kuna muziki unawekwa kwenye unakuja muziki yororo watu wako ofisini. Wanachapa kazi. Na it has been proven kwamba ukitaka kupata maziwa mengi kwa watu ambao wanaokamoa unampigia muluzi ngombe. Unakamua maziwa na sana anatoa maziwa mengi. Kwa wale wanaofuga kuku wa mayai the same. Ukiweka miziki bang 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 unawapa stress and they don't hawatagi uh, wala wale mm -hmm. kama ni kama ni maziwa unapata kwa shida sana. Kwa hiyo kama daktari alivyosema it is something ambayo we cannot we don't control. The, kama alivyosema parasympathetic na sympathetic nerves. We don't control. Kwa hiyo tukiacha hiyo ikaingia kwa emili yetu you are never you are all hata umelala you are stressed okay somebody else labda nimenyosha mkono dr mbambo barikiwa nimebarikiwa sana leo na, na mimi na, na mimi ni mtu wa mziki na nadhani na nadhani swala sio mziki wameimba nani kwa maana maneno yanaweza kawekwa ya Yesu lakini nadhani swala ni melody gani melody melody kwa nadhani Mungu anaendelea kutusaidia na kanisa la Mwisho Sabato tumepewa mwanga mkubwa sana lakini ukifuatilia hata Roman Catholic huko zamani mziki wao ulikuwa mziki ambao ukipigwa stress zinaisha kwa nadhani daktari leo umetusaidia mengi na Bwana kubariki sana Na mimi naomba kuchangia. My sister say something. Ah, shikamo. Marhaba. <laughs> Tunakushukuru sana my brother kwa kweli. Ume, umeweka vitu vyote kwa pamoja. Sasa mimi si unajua ni mjasiria mali, lazima tuuliza kitu kinaendana na wajasiria mali. Mzunguza kitu cha simu. Simu jinsi ambavyo tunainama kwenye simu na tunatoa instructions ningesema hapa nitatajwa jina lakini asante kunitaja jina sasa <laughs> inaomba tu mstaada kwamba trend ya sasa ni business online hasa sasa kwa wao wanaotufuata tafadhali lakini unakuta kwa mfano kwenye occasions kuna kuna seasons mbalimbali unakuta wakati wa Easter sio sana lakini unakuja kwenye si Mother's Day unakuja kwenye Valentine unakuja kwenye Christmas Yaani hapo unakuta simu inazunguka kwa kweli mpaka inapata moto. Hivi sasa tufanyeje ili usiweke kitu masikioni yake mimi kutoboa vile kitu wanawekaga vinaitwa nini vile wanachomekaga kina kibabu masikioni vile mimi siwezi hmm. yani naona kabisa na masikio atauma. Kwa hiyo tuweke yep. hizi earphones kama marubani au tufanyeje ili ili kwa vivote vile we have to use the phone kwa muda mrefu sana kwenye business. Mungu akubariki. If 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 you are using your if you are using your phone for business kama ulivyosema mwenyewe the best thing that you can do tumia utumia ya marubani kutoka kwa mbali is better than holding your phone umelala hivi kitandani for the whole day mpeleka maua rudisha heshimini ni wewe ni hujaenda that is inakuumiza wewe you you need to have that that phone a bit away from you not not hiyo mpaka ipate moto ipatie moto huko mbele sio kwako sasa urubani kama unafanyia nyumbani sidhani kama kuna mtu atakushangaa sana uh, i think that's a better way kutumia either zile zile earphones or headphones it is better than holding the the, the phone for that time Kwa na, na, naomba my young sister uwe rubani tu nyumbani for your health. 
Asante. Sasa tafuta jinsi ya kuadvertise kwenye magroupu tuziuze hizo watu wa marubani kwa kweli. Mungu akubariki. Amen. Ni ndambo ambapo habari habari ya leo. Nzuri tu habari yako. Nzuri sasa kuna mtu ambaye yuko salama, yuko kuna mtu ambaye hana stress katika mazingira ya kawaida. Kwa sababu ukiangalia sana given the situation ya ulimwengu wa leo in uh, one or the other unaweza ukajikuta huko uko stressed. Tufanyeje tusiwe katika stress katika mazingira tulio nayo ya leo hii. Um akanda maalum na nashukuru kwamba ume ume umenisikiliza msishangae kwa sababu huyu comrade mimi namuita kanda maalum kwa sababu ni waganda maalum okay sijasema <laughs> kwamba you will go out of stress you cannot lakini ni lazima uweze kujua nini ni nini ni stress yani you you must lazima ujiangalie mwenyewe kuna vitu ambavyo vinaku vinaku affect kama nilivyo 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 viainisha ni vitu vingi tu vinatuzunguka stress is you and the environment period kwa hiyo environment yako lazima uangalie namna ya kuigovern wengi sasa tatizo ni kwamba hatujui kwamba tuna stress to start with kwa hiyo we are traveling tuna tunaingia kwenye boat ambayo hatuji hata ina nini once you know what your problem is it is easy to to encounter kama nilivyosema unaweza kuwa unafanya kazi in one place mwanza kwa na kazi pengine umemaliza shule wakati moja e, nini mwanza kwa unakuta ghafla ameshajenga nyumba ghafla na gari sasa wewe unataka kuishi maisha ya ya kada maalum. Ujui kada maalum anapata vitu hivyo wapi. It is good kama ungeweza kuzungumza naye kama unamfahamu kama na vipi. Bwana wewe umetoboa mapema hivi. Anaweza kukueleza kama kama sio sio bila rushwa au mwizi. Unaweza kukuta mtu kapewa vitu na baba yake wewe una wewe una wewe ndio una support ndugu zako. Alafu mm-hmm. nataka ushindana na mtu ambaye anasaidiwa na baba yake. Kwa hiyo ni jinsi ya kujielewa ndio maana ili somo lipo. Ili somo lipo la wewe kujielewa kuelewa kwamba mimi niko katika position hii. Kama nilivyosema don't sit and say okay. Sasa hii maisha yamekuwa magumu bwana na acha. No no no. Pray to God that he gives you the wisdom ya kujua kitu gani cha kubadilisha unaweza kubadilisha fanya kwa nguvu zako zote hakuna kulaza damu hakuna kuahirisha mpaka ume, umefika unasema mimi naweza kujenga nyumba by the end of the year ukiangalia resources unasema yes hapa tabana huku nitajenga nyumba au nitanunua gari au nitafanya kitu fulani lakini ukichukua takunua gari unataka kununua nyumba unataka ku kuoa unataka kuwa na watoto unataka at the same time is going, go, going to collapse kwa hiyo ni vizuri ukaje ukachuja tu mambo ambayo yanayakuepo stress you can't avoid stress is given you are in dar es salaam how do we avoid issues okay there is another way we are avoiding either unatoka mapema au unaondoka late na kujikuru kijana <laughs> there's my there's my friend anakate alikuwa anakate anakate geta kati anafanya kazi anafanya kazi muhimbili at 6:15 yuko muhimbili sasa hiyo folini anakuta nayo hapa lakini ana stress ya kuamka mapema so how do you how do you una ukisha ukisha mka mapema je una compensate je hiyo je unarudi mapema alafu ulale mapema zaidi those are things i'm talking about asante kanda maalum nimekuelewa rafiki yangu na kushukuru sana kwa 
Mengine tuta mengine takutafuta inbox. Okay sir. Okay sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Mimi dogo pia anko. Sasa it's a very privileged uh, time kwamba nimeweza ku join this. Najua sisi vijana wengi tunapata cha moto za stress nini nyingi. Alafu about music or what kind of music we are listening it it, it really impacts our i kwa stress. Lakini lakini as you said um just to touch down of what is the right what is the right uh, earphones or whatever mama kwa baba mauliza ili kusaidia kujibu in electronic part sababu mimi ni mtaalamu wa haya mambo okay so, kujibu which one is the, the right one and which one is not the right uh, mimi nadhani kuna swala lingine hapa la kutumia speaker Uh, speaker phone linaweza kusaidia kuliko kuweka simu yako muda mrefu kwenye shavu ukapata uka ule moto kwa sababu moto kwa sababu hizo radiation ni haya uh, numbers radiation tunajua pia sio daktari zina cause madhara mengi sana madhara and one of them is one of them also stress kwa hiyo loud speaker is also good au kawa na equipment ya bluetooth ukaeka bluetooth kako ka speaker kako kidogo hapo sio lazima uweke sauti kubwa mpaka irani yako kwa sikie zina control control tu sauti and you can listen but uh, talking about the right earphones of course zipo but earphones also i don't recommend so much wearing them for a very long time for the long time nazo zinakuwa na itilapo kwenye kwenye kwenye, kwenye afya. Uh, uh, Mnaweza kuenda kuona madaktari wa masikio hapa you keep on <laughs> using those ones for a long time. So, so I'm recommending if, if as, as much as you can kama mnataka mtumie mnataka kuna kuna vispika vidogo unaweka unasikiliza eh oraimo oraimo ipo hapa inatamba na kuna kuna nyingine uh, uh, don't go for very good and, and they are very good quality and sound, and sound. kwa hiyo kwa hiyo nadhani hiyo hiyo nimejibu mama what what is, is to say ili usiunguze ugali na vitu yeah i wanted to just share that because it's very important to take care of our our life and to make sure uh, uh, if, if you if you feel stressed find, find somebody to talk to to ni hapa ah kama una rafiki yako kwa mfano mimi rafiki zangu wengi hapa anko zangu hapa anko zangu find talk to them waambie bwana na hii abc love kuisha hakuna haja ya kuwa stress uende utumeni wewe chai hebu hospitali huko kisa ni bure no 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 Just, Just find be happy, happy take, take care, care of your health, health. We, we make we, we, we make doctors uh, life uh, easier doctors are there to to, to, to take care of us but, but let us not make uh, an unnecessary easy vitu unnecessary things that tunajua kwamba we we can we can take up yani ugonjwa ambao unajitakia no no so that's that's my advice and few things kama na mimi naiomba hiyo. Ah, hawa hiyo mwa Arusha hamna shida. Okay, okay, when you get in. Bona bona bona. When you get in. Yes, yes. Basta ni kwenda kwa kuru. Kuru. 
wote kwa wote kwa kushiriki na naona presentation imekuwa nzuri na watu wamerespondi kwa maswali na maoni mtango na Mungu awabariki sana. Uh, uh, Dr. Mbambo tunakushukuru kwa presentation nzuri ambayo umeifanya prisa lakini umegusa vitu vyote vya msingi. Uh, uh, mimi nilikuwa nina take note hapa. Uh, uh, baadhi ya kitu, kitu ninachokumbuka cha msingi ambacho natamani hata wengine tutoke nacho. Uh, ni kwamba tamani hata wengine tutoke nacho. Point ya pili all small stuff are small stuff. Point ya pili all things are small stuff. Don't stress about anything. All things are small stuff. Uh, don't stress about anything. Don't stress about anything. Uh, 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 basi kwa kuitimisha basi kwa kuitimisha tena madam Juliet kwa ajili ya ombi tuombe tuombe asante asante kwa nafasi ya Yesu kwa nafasi ya kero ambayo umetakia kujifunza maarifa haya tusaidie katika maisha yetu tukakuwa mimi wewe katika mambo yote tutakapokuwa kila usiku huu kila usiku huu tunao uwezo kwa sababu jinsi sote Endelea kutulinda na kututunza ni katika jina la Yesu amen. Amen.